your so choice what you're you spend out there. Nobody needs to tell anybody. I'm sick of them telling people over 50. Not that I am, but... <sighs> <laughs> right. you know, I think, I think Eamon's right. Done. And it said also, I hate that word spinster. There's something about the word spinster. Well, you're a spinster. Not used that so this word. is all you're about. A spinster. I am a spinster and yeah. I hate the word. I hate the I word. I mean, back there, it sounds not, quite yeah. cool. It's like isn't pensioner, it? isn't yeah. it? No. And they're, they're basically saying that, you know, that stereotype of the sad old spinster is a myth. Because <gasps> you're all out there enjoying themselves. Well, it's a myth anyway. Absolutely. Unless, of course, you're sad and on your own this morning, you might want to share that with us and we'll talk about yeah. that as well. Um, and also, it can depend on the way you smell. <laughs> no, it can, it can, depends how lean you are, but the way you true. smell. And this is the next story oh. here. And amazingly, it says here in a survey mm. that men don't necessarily like bottled yeah. perfume. Mm. Right. See, now I agree with that. I've, I've been out with a couple of men that actually liked me quite stinky. <gasps> not, that I know, not that I do sting, I smell lovely. Sherry stinks, but Your I don't. pheromones, you mean? No. But I don't know what she, she means. Smells what, beautiful. She, what do you mean? Smell? Um, yes, would rather get off on your natural smells than um. being sprayed with perfume. I've had a couple of boyfriends. I mean, I'm. I forget to put perfume on sometimes, but I don't like a man that smells. I like a man with a bit of aftershave. So mm. I think I think we are very different. I don't think men care. Come on, Eamon. He You're the man. You like I love a bit perfume. of perfume. Didn't I, I say that to you this morning? She I said, mean, there's certain she said, perfumes that remind me of certain people. And I have to oh. say, without being critical, darling, you know where I stand on this. <gasps> you are too predictable with <gasps> your perfume. Well, I wear, you are. But also, Eamon, also, I wear, I like very light perfume. I like so a bit of change wear, every now and again. I wear more cologne-type. Perfume, you know, you like an old lady in lavender. Oh, <gasps> Amen. No, 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 that's not, not my fault. Why doesn't she wear young yeah, high street trouble. perfume? Why don't you buy it for her? Then? I don't. I do. He does. And I do. Because the oh. they remind stronger. me of other women. <laughs> 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 Absolutely true. Oh, he don't had tell that story. He had don't. Catherine Jenkins <laughs> on his radio show once, yeah. and he came home and he went, oh, "Catherine Jenkins smelled so lovely. She was wearing this perfume. I can't say what it was, obviously." Uh, well, and he bought me a bottle. Well, I bought you a year and I later, like didn't you? Yeah, did. yeah, he bought it a year later, thinking I wouldn't remember. Oh and no, I mean, I mean, that's like being unfaithful. Smells lovely, Eamon. Eamon. That's really bad. Okay, here's another ridiculous story. Um, and this one, where is this one? And is this the sun as well? This is 40% uh, of women want a toy boy, isn't that one? Yes. yes. What would you do with that? Four out of ten women well. over 40 wish they had a toy boy, and 17% who have partners said if they could get away with it, they'd like an affair with a younger man. Oh, no. oh. You see, I wouldn't go out with anybody so, I could give birth to. No. <laughs> <laughs> that would just be no. quite frightening. <laughs> and I've always said that I would never be interested in a toy boy, but at the moment I'm quite open. But they would be us. interested in well, you. How, how much younger do they have to be to be a toy boy, do you Well, uh, just Ten older than a son, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, yeah. So, what but, do you make of what's going on in Northern Ireland with the MP, Iris oh, Robinson? Yeah. Yes. She's nearly 60. He was 19. I know. That's too much. I mean, for me personally, I wouldn't know. Oh, there'd just be nothing in common. I might fancy him a little bit more than an older man, but... but Zoe, no, Zoe's on a, she's on a thing at the moment because she's a bit desperate, so... I'm not as long desperate, as, as long as she's got a pulse, she said to me, <laughs> it'd be all right. Isn't, but isn't there an element of, you know, I can still pull him? I can still pull yeah, him. Maybe, still maybe, but him. Maybe. Toy boy. I don't know what toy boy means. Anyway. Well, the toy boy means the, younger the guy favourite showing. potential celeb toy boy was our Gino, Gino De Campo. Yeah. So it was. Funny, um, you're not on that list. Well, no. Funny man. I, but, but of course, I fall into a different now, category. Now, if you if you want a toy boy, girls. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Get a load of this. Have you seen the pictures today of See, Ronaldo in his well. pants? This is ridiculous. Look at this. It's ridiculous. Where are they? He ponces Come around on. the football <gasps> pitch. Oh. Oh. No. That, See, that doesn't do it for you. No, that's just. Oh, oh, it does it for me. Does it? Oh, I yeah. I told you she was desperate. <laughs> that's not desperate. Look at that six. No, pack. but look what he's got on those knickers. That's like They're a not very, But don't you think that's an odd pose? Is that pose? What's all that? Yes, it's sort of leading I want to back. be alone. It's to yeah. take your attention away from other parts of the. Well, it doesn't because you're definitely no, not looking but at that. But why do men wear those knickers? What is it with knickers? Well, I find them. What, no, do you, what, no, do what do you what do you wear? Find them, not, never mind. It's only <laughs> Go on. It we are just, no, you have to say it. Do you wear no, 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 I find these adverts. I think these appeal probably to men, as mm. in a homoerotic way, as opposed to women. That's what I, I think. I think you're right. I think these are, I, are, are me, very it's sort all of all too perfect. Perfect. Not a hair on the. No, bottom. he needs a bit of hairy chest. Not a he hair. Needs a bit. It all yeah. looks oiled and too yeah. perfect. And you think they'd be. And he looks very sucked and tucked, doesn't he? Well, he is. Yeah. Right. Talking in your your sleep and that you oh, picked out an amazing story me. here about uh, a woman who <laughs> tapes who tapes her and this is in the Daily Express mm. she, she audio tapes her husband 
talking in bed at night, and he comes out with the weirdest things. He does. Like, God, go on, well, give he me say, some. Well, he says things like, um, oh, what can I read out to you, Ruth? Your mum's at the door out. again. Bury me, bury me deep. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you should have read that one out, actually. I think the one I'm you should have you. read out was yeah. about hell. What does it say? Um, oh, where is it? I can't need my, my glasses on here. Yeah, my vision of hell is a lentil casserole. <laughs> but anyway, anyway, the idea is that he, um, he talks in his sleep in all sorts of strange ways. Uh, does your partner talk in the sleep and do you uh, tape it? I must admit, what I do is I sometimes I wake up laughing really loudly. I think that's why my husband went. <laughs> he must have thought it was at him. <laughs> just go. <laughs> and I just thought he thought it was at him. But I've just got a thing. Do you do that? Hey. I thought everybody. Does. Is what what do you do? He talks all night. You wouldn't believe. I, I'm disturbed. The stuff. I'm he at is the most disturbed. active in what, yeah. what sort of things do you say? Everything goes through my mind. I think of work. I think of politics. You need he's always oh, being oh, chased. He's always like, quick, oh, they're getting me quick. I think Hurry I've post traumatic stress me. disorder. I think he, he might have been a priest or something in a previous life. And sometimes he's done, he's done things like it sounds like a foreign language. <laughs> like, Arab, you go, holabar, shah, yeah. holabar. <laughs> Very honestly. Do you have any tape recordings to prove this? I'm going this? to because yes. you never believe me. That's a very interesting idea. Tape him, tape him. No wonder him. I always look so tired, Sherry. I'm yes, up I half know. the night with his friends. Oh, night long. The thing is, all night long. You love him for I'm it. sure I'm speaking Italian or something much more romantic. <laughs> if you have anything to share with us in any of the stories we've just covered, including oh, uh, your partner talking in their sleep, you could email us or your view on underpants and men wearing them and the type of underpants and all that sort of thing this morning at IT. <laughs> Do you know, that was the most comprehensive look through the papers I've had in a long time. Was it? That was. It's very the informative. Things you learn about the world. Very, very loose. Very loose. Very, very loose. loose.